Let's get it, baby. Here's the 2008 Aprilia Tuono that I picked up for $1,400. This is a build slash hustle. I'm just gonna kind of go through, assess the damage. I'm gonna ask you guys questions as well on like what maybe I need to look into and get and this and that. First thing I notice is the handlebars. They're completely bent out of shape. So gonna order new handlebars. I took a look at this clamp, the upper handlebar clamp here, and that's definitely bent. And this is something I can't bend back or it'll completely ruin the integrity of it. So I gotta order a new one of those. I'm gonna include the pricing for everything I ordered. It definitely looks like I need new grips. These are completely thrashed. Uh, the gas tank, this, this is pretty bad. I'm just gonna grab a new gas tank just for the ease of changing it out. I could also just part this bike out. So what do you guys think? Should I rebuild it or should I part it out? Going down here to the radiator, this is definitely totaled out. When Jane and I brought this back, it was actually leaking. So I ordered a used radiator that's not leaking. At least that's what it says in the title. So that's right. There's a scoop here, like an air scoop. I believe when the headlight is on this, um, obviously I need to order a new headlight as well. I'm just, I'm thinking I'm just gonna remove this air scoop. This is where the air intake is. The air intake is actually goes through the frame, which is kind of cool. A lot of bikes are like that, but they usually just have holes in the frames. This one actually goes through the frame. So I'm just gonna take this off. We'll put a headlight in front of it, and that should work well enough to where it'll get the air in. Again, I kind of need some feedback on this. If I should order a new Ram, I think that's what that is. The stabilizer down here looks good still. Doesn't look exploded or anything. There's a little rust on it. I can just kind of shade that off. Four Forks evidently are straight, and I mean, looking at them, they do look pretty good. Oh, I do definitely need new fork seals for this. Those are pretty bad. I need a new radiator pipe here. I don't know if you can see how smashed flat Ooh, that is. Oh, yeah. So I definitely need to order a new one of those. Sorry about the sun. This is an issue I really want to ask you guys about. I need to order mirrors as well. So I want to ask you guys about this front rim and what you think. If you guys can see this, this is kind of like where it impacted. I, I'm guessing I should order a new rim. I don't know if they can shave this off and save it. I don't see any cracks in the rim or anything, but the rotor's bent over here and these are floating rotors. I need some feedback on this. These tires are kind of new. Well here, here's so here's the key harness right here. This actually goes up into the key switch here in order to turn it on and off. I can I can line this back up like so, and it does. I believe I just turned the bike on. So I could JB weld this back on, I think. It looks like everything in there is fine. Looks like it just needs to move around on these and establish these connections underneath, and none of these wires look severed. So I'll just push this up in here. You know, this is gonna turn it on and off. So that's that for the front. Quite a bit of work needs to be done to the front, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad, honestly. I'll probably try to redo this, like shave it down a little bit, put a little fiberglass in there. Ooh, lever is in order. I do want to check if the battery is still good, so I'm gonna plug it in tonight. Back end didn't take much damage at all. Needs a cleaning, and I'm really trying to keep this build under, I'd like to keep this under two grand, because I'd like to be able to sell this for anywhere from three to four K. I think I should be able to get that with a clean title, and as long as this thing looks like it should. Just my biggest concern is honestly this front area. It does have only 14,000 miles on it. And then I need a Speedo, and it looks like a 20 pin speedometer. So I'm gonna go through this wiring harness, make sure all the plugs and wires are good. I mean, this was a big project to take on, but I think it's gonna start right up. I have a lot of faith in it. Seat's good. This rear fairing I'm gonna have to redo, but I think I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to redo this myself. We'll see how it goes. I don't think it's gonna be too difficult though. Fiberglass over it maybe. Seems like it's plastic, so. I definitely could use some feedback. I don't know. Let them know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stumped at the moment. Kind of going through this is like, taunting it's 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 a lot of work a lot of work to be had but i'm down for it if you guys say you know what dude you'll make some money on this rebuild it i'm gonna do it immediately i'll rebuild it right now and you'll see this thing taken apart by tomorrow i'll let you guys decide i am i'm in the middle right now i have already bought some parts for it but i haven't invested i haven't invested the amount where i'm like all right i have to 
I can go either way with it, but I definitely want to make sure it runs too. So I will be throwing on the radiator. I'll fix the key switch and um, we'll get moving on it. But I'll let you guys be the final decision. Rebuild, part out. And remember, this is the hustle series, not a build series. So I do think I can fix this up pretty quickly and get rid of it for three grand. Make a quick grand on it. But again, I got to up my project and I got to move money. I'm going for 300k, baby. 1% there, baby. 1% baby. <laughs> <laughs>